Hi guys, this is a quick video on neural analysis. This is one of our best tools uh, to analyze circuits in physics. In particular, what we're doing is if we can treat voltage as electrical pressure, uh, each wire in a circuit, each node between components, which is each wire, uh, ends up with a different voltage. And then we can use Ohm's law to say electrical current is caused by voltage and limited by resistance. Okay. And so what this looks like is uh, because voltage is relative, we are talking about voltage in reference to what we call a ground node. So convention is we always choose the negative side of our voltage source, the ground node. And again, we think of voltage as electrical pressure. So this entire negative side of the battery is going to have the same electrical pressure, right? The electrons want to spread out as soon as possible. And as soon as you touch that wire to that terminal battery, the whole thing gets the same voltage. And we said that because voltage is relative, we choose one wire, one node, act as our reference to be zero volts. So our convention is the negative terminal of our battery is zero volts of electric pressure. And then same thing up here. If we attach a wire to a terminal of our battery, it should have the same voltage as that terminal of battery. So this voltage at node A becomes nine volts, right? Why is this such a useful tool? Well, if we are looking at voltage as supplying electrical pressure and we want to find how much current is flowing through this resistor, we would use Ohm's law. Current equals change in voltage, this node minus this node, divided by the resistance of the component. So we can find the current going through any component anywhere, provided we understand voltage is electrical pressure, and every node would have a different pressure. And because voltage is relative, we always choose one node to have zero volts. And that, by convention, is the negative terminal of our battery, or negative terminal of our voltage source. Maybe it's the wall plug. Okay, let's take a look at it one step further. Uh, here's a slightly more complicated circuit. Our objective is to be able to use this on operation came. Here we see we have one terminal here, or one node right here. All right, here's a second node down here. And then here's a third node over here. Okay, by convention, the negative terminal of battery should have zero volts. So this is a zero volt node. This one up here is connected to the positive terminal of battery, so this is going to be 9 volts. And then we're like, okay, well, what about the voltage at terminal C right here? How could I possibly find that? Well, in order to find that, we have to use Ohm's law. In particular, we use the idea that current is flowing through this resistor. And if we were to use, you know, Ohm's law being current is caused by the total voltage divided by the total resistance, that's the overall current through our circuit, we get this particular value. So we know how much current is going through this particular device right here, and we know the resistance of that device. So we know current is caused by our change in electrical pressure, our voltage, and limited by resistance. So if we know how much current and how much resistance we have, we can calculate how much voltage. Okay? So if we do that, we say, Voltage A minus voltage C is going to be equal to the current that goes through R1 times R1. That gives us voltage C equals the voltage at A minus the current times resistance. And we get 9 volts minus 0 0.045 amps times resistance 100 ohms. And let's find out what that is. 9 minus 0 0.045 times 100. And we get 4.5 volts. Okay, so that tells us that right here we have 4.5 volts of electrical pressure. If we were to apply this idea of nodal analysis to our operation game, what we're really looking at is every different section of our circuit has a different electrical pressure, different voltage. And so this node right here should have 9 volts of electrical pressure if it's connected to the positive side of our battery. Then this node B right here should have a different electrical pressure. We'd have to find the total current and the total resistance and know what the voltage is at A to determine it. Okay, then we use Ohm's law with these equations right here. At C, we have a different we have a different node, so we should have a different voltage. Again, if we use Ohm's law, we can calculate that. And then finally, at node D, node D is our ground voltage. So this one should, by definition, be what we refer all of our measurements to, it's zero volts. And so what that looks like with our operation game is we connect the negative wire of our multimeter to the ground voltage. And then to measure the other voltages, we take the red wire and say I want to measure at A, I just connect the red wire to A. Okay, say I want to measure the voltage at B, I connect the red wire to B. Okay, and if I wanted to measure the voltage at C, again, these are all relative to D, that's why we have the black wire connected or ground wire connected to D, I would connect my multimeter to C. Okay, not too bad. This idea, nodal analysis, the voltages at different nodes are different, will allow us to apply Ohm's law to calculate the electric current across any different component, whether or not we have a simple series circuit like this, or a more complex compound circuit, such as um, more complicated electrical devices, parallel and series circuits together. All right, see you guys next time. Good job.